Welcome to Eleanor Dawn Makeup. Today I'm going to be taking you through another daily flawless makeup tip. And today we're going to be going through some very easy highlighting and contouring techniques with powder. So let's get started. Now before we start, I've already applied my foundation, concealers and finishing powder to create an even base of my skin tone. So it's now I can come in with some contouring and some highlighting to create a bit of shadow and also create an illusion that my face is a little bit slimmer than it is. Now you can use concealers or foundations to do highlighting and contouring for more of a dramatic look, which I can show you in, in another video. But today we'll be using powder as it's a quick and easy way to create highlighting and contouring, which you can do every morning or if you have to go out. So we're gonna be starting with our contouring and I'm using a MAC powder, which is a few shades darker than my foundation color. So this will allow for a color difference on my skin, which will bring out that contour. And I'm going to be using an angled powder brush. So to start with our contouring, we're gonna be focusing on three main areas. Just below our cheekbones, in the hollows of your cheeks, our jawline, around our forehead, and then we can touch on a few areas such as temples and on the side of your nose if you would like to slim down your nose. So we've got our powder, and we're gonna start on our cheekbones. So if you just have a little feel about where your cheekbone is, and just find the top of your cheekbone and you wanna start just underneath there. So you're gonna get your powder and just gently brush in. Now you just want to take little light strokes and you want to brush at the bottom of your cheekbone and just angle down towards underneath your cheek. Let's start our next area, which is our jawline. So again, I've put a bit more powder on my brush and I'm just going to do some brushes down my jawline, starting at the top of my jaw here and blending in to the side and down to my chin. So again, we're focusing on this angular part at the bottom. We're gonna make it darker, so it creates an illusion that it's the side of my face and jaw is a bit thinner. So I'm happy with that. I might just go another time in on my cheekbone because I really like to emphasize my cheekbones. So the more you contour and blend in, the more it's gonna stand out. So already you can see compared to my other side of the face, I have a little bit more definition and shadow and you can just see my features stand out a little bit more. So I'll just do the other side, again starting at the bottom underneath my cheekbone and blending in downwards. And again on my jawline, finding the bottom of my jaw and just really blending down into my chin area. So now we're going to focus around the top of your forehead. So I'm just going to get some brush strokes and just gently blend around the top of my forehead to create an oval shape. Now I also mentioned we're going to do some contouring just in the temple here on an angle, again like the cheekbones to draw everything in. So just get your brush with some more powder and just lightly blend doing little brush strokes on an upward angle. Now, if you want to slim down your nose a little bit, what you can do is just get a thinner brush, so maybe a small sized powder brush or a big concealer brush like so. You just want to get a little bit of that dark powder. And what you want to do is just go in the side of your nose and just shade that in a little bit like I'm doing now. And what you're doing it's just playing with the shadows and slimming down the sides, not touching the middle area, just the sides, which in turn will highlight the front of your nose, which will make an illusion that it's thinner. So we've done the contouring. Let's get started with our highlighting. So again, I'm going for the powder today. And now I'm going to use a MAC powder, which is a couple of shades lighter than my foundation color. So that's going to highlight and bring out those areas of my face where I want to bring them out to complement the contouring and to slim down the face. So I'm just going to take a few swipes of my powder and now I'm going to go above the cheekbone just here. So 
Before we were feeling the bottom of the cheekbone, now we're going to sit on the top and we're going to highlight this area in here to lift up the face. Let's just start lightly dabbing some highlighting powder at the top of your cheekbone and down towards your face. And I'm going to go just underneath my eye, ending just here, so before my nose. And so I'm just going to blend it in. So first I patted the powder on and now I'm just going to go back and blend that in a bit more. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. Starting on my cheekbone, I'm just going to blend that powder down. So if we look back now, we can see a definite contrast between the contour and the highlight. Now what you can do now is grab another blending brush, powder brush if you want, and just do a few little brushes just to blend that in a bit more. So again, I've got my highlighting powder on my brush. And now what I'm going to do is just go into my chin, the center of my nose, underneath my nose, and the middle of my forehead to draw out those areas. So I'm going to start under my chin. And again, I'm just brushing a little bit of powder in there. And I'm going to go in the middle of my forehead. Dabbing some powder on there. So in between my eyebrows and just into the bottom of my forehead there. So now I'm going to go in the middle of my nose and the bottom of my nose. And again, I'm going to get a smaller brush, like so, just to get those areas perfectly. So I'm going to get some more powder on my brush, and that's my highlighting powder. And first I'm going to go in to the middle of my nose, and just brush a little bit in the middle there. Then I'm going to go up here. So I did the contouring on the sides, and now I'm going to highlight through the middle. So I'm just going to get my brush with my powder on it, and gently, in a really straight line, just highlight up through the middle of my nose. And you really want to try and blend this in as much as you can so you don't see an obvious line of light and dark. And that applies everywhere. So now I've done my highlighting, I'm just going to go back and double check that I'm happy that everything's blended in. So I might go over my cheeks a little bit more. And then I might just, with a translucent powder, so that's a clear powder, it's not white, it's translucent, do a few swirls and just go over everything to make sure it's all blended in and again setting that powder in. So there you have it. That's an easy basic highlighting and contouring tip. We've highlighted the cheekbones and we've contoured underneath the cheekbones around the jawline and the forehead, temples and nose to create an illusion of a slimmer face and a little bit more definition. So just to recap, today I've gone for a powder highlighting and contouring. So I've used a MAC powder for my contouring, which was two shades darker than my foundation color. And I used an angled powder brush for my contouring. Then I've gone in with my highlighting with a highlighting powder, which was a couple of shades lighter than my foundation. And I went in with a small powder brush to dab it in. Then I went through again with a little thicker brush to really blend that color in with the contour. And again, I went in with a finishing powder just to make sure it was all blended in. So there you have it.